Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my experience with intermittent fasting. So if you have watched any of my fitness journey um, in month three, I talk about at the end that I just cannot get my nutrition on track and I'm just consuming too many calories, especially at night. Throughout the day it's pretty manageable and then I tend to eat the majority of them at night and I need to stop. So I decided to try intermittent fasting as a way to retrain my body to just not eat at night and you know I wasn't sure I was, figured I was gonna try it for a week and if after that I didn't want to do it anymore I'd be done or I was going to you know adapt as needed or just continue um, depending on how that week went so I assume if you clicked on this video you probably know a little bit about intermittent fasting but if you don't essentially it's fasting for a portion of the day. So not eating anything for a set period of time. You have a certain eating window that you choose. Um, I don't know what the average is. I think usually about eight hours is what people choose to do. So that's what I did. And I chose to do an eating window of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, I don't always eat a lot in the morning anyway, so I figured pushing it off a little bit and just having a later dinner time was going to be better than setting like 8 to 4, um, especially since my family being home all the time, sometimes we want to eat together. I don't want to be like, hey, I'll meet with you if you eat dinner at 4 o'clock. Like, no. So, I have then 8 hours where I can eat whatever throughout the day, and then 16 hours, I hope my math is right, where I am essentially fasting, not eating any food. Obviously, water is just fine never gonna limit the amount of water I can drink because if anything I need to drink more and I went about it for a week I actually tracked in a notebook kind of how each day went because sometimes when you recall back it's hard to remember what each day was like and sometimes things seem worse than they were sometimes they seem better than they were so I'm just gonna read off my notebook kind of what I wrote um, I started Tuesday, April 28th, so that was my first day. I started 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So my notes, <laughs> kind of difficult to make it to 10 a.m., but then didn't really feel like I needed food by then. Um, so for a little bit of background, I do work from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m., um, Monday through Wednesday, so three days a week. I'm up at 5.30. Um, that was the my biggest worry was am I going to be able to hold off eating till 10 o'clock when I got up at 5 30 in the morning and it did prove to be very challenging I thought about food all morning I remember that I was just like checking the clock where I can eat nope a couple more hours oh an hour and then by the time that hour got there I was like super busy with kids because I'm a nanny and I ended up eating later than 10. um anyway I ate about 1,500 calories. That is significantly lower than what I was eating before. I was eating on a good day closer to like 1,800 calories. So already in the first day, I like definitely had reduced calorie intake. Um, and then I stopped eating at 5:30. So that was actually before I could stop eating. Uh, after that, I went for a five-mile walk with my mom and the dogs, and I got home and I wanted to eat so bad. I felt so, so hungry, but I'd eaten plenty of food and really I just needed to drink more water. But it was just, it was hard. I was used to just coming and like eating whenever the thought just crossed my mind. And I couldn't. Sorry, I had to stop filming for a second. One of my other videos popped up and started talking. Anyway, so that first day was so hard because I couldn't just like go grab food on a whim. I was like, nope, it's past my window, so we're fasting, no more food, um, and it was really hard to fall asleep. I like laid in bed, just like, I want a snack, I want a snack, like I'm hungry, but I don't even, like, it wasn't even like hunger feel like in my stomach, it was more like this mental thing where I just felt like I needed food. So day one, so tough, um, definitely if you're trying this, don't give up after day one just because it's hard. I promise it was the hardest day and then things got better. So 
day two, Wednesday, the 29th of April. Um, I really wanted to munch in the morning. That's what I said. So I must have been really munchy. Just wanted like snacky things here and there. That's pretty typical of me. And I'm trying so hard to break that habit of just like, again, absentmindedly grabbing food. So 10 a.m. came and I apparently was not actually very hungry again. Again, mornings, I just, it's kind of hit or miss whether I'm hungry and hunger will come and go. So weird thing about me, I don't know if anyone else is like that. Um, and then it was a pretty good day of eating and then easy night. Definitely a lot better than the first night. Um, I do want to point out, I didn't write this down, but those first two days, when my eating window was there, I was kind of like, eat whatever. In my brain, I just had this idea like, you're not going to be able to eat for 16 hours. Like, you got to eat whatever you want and get all this food in. Um, even with that mentality, I didn't overeat, which is awesome. But I totally was not worried about like, is this nutritionally good? Is this going to keep me full? I was like, just eat as much food as you can in this window. Um... Again, that also got better. I just like had this subconscious panic, I feel like it passed. <laughs> so Thursday, again, I watched the clock all morning. Um, that was a morning. I woke up at like four in the morning and I was awake until like 7.30, fell back asleep until 10. But like that early morning period, like there's nothing really to do. And I was like, snack, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> But I couldn't because it was not in my eating window. I resisted, eventually fell back asleep, woke up, and it was in my eating window anyway. So, perfect. Uh, after that, it wasn't bad. I found myself absentmindedly wanting to reach for snacks after we, I went for a walk later in the night. But I resisted and didn't even really feel hungry. Again, just breaking these habits. That was my big goal with this was just break the habit of just like munching and going for all these like carby snacks at night because that I feel like is my biggest issue holding me back from seeing more results with the exercise that I'm already doing. So I was done eating at five o'clock on Thursday, went for a walk, yada yada yada. Friday came, I ended up not eating until 11. It was another morning. I had just really bad sleep last week where I woke up was up for a while in the early morning, fell back asleep, and I think I didn't wake up until like 10.30. So <laughs> it's easy to stop eating at 6. Didn't really mind at all. Saturday, super easy. That's all I wrote. Easy. <laughs> so Saturday was good. Sunday, um, I woke up. My boyfriend was here. He slept in forever. I woke up at 7.30. We went for a walk. Not him. He slept. My mom and I went for a walk. And... <laughs> Uh, then I came home and we got foster kittens on Saturday. They were adorable. And I ended up spending just like an hour and a half sitting with them and playing with them because they're so cute. Uh, so I ended up not eating until 11.30 when my boyfriend got up. It was fine. It was good. Super cool. Um, I did eat slightly after 6 that night. Um, with eating at 11.30, I didn't feel too bad because I still ate for less than eight hours during the day. Um, and it was just barely after six. It was like, you know, I'm still kind of hungry. It's like 5.55 or whatever. Like, I'm going to go make some food. Um, and then Monday, so Monday I broke the intermittent fasting a little bit. I got up for work again, 5.30. And by, I think, 30 I was I was pretty hungry and I felt like I just needed something to keep me going so I ate some grapes uh, but then I did wait until 10 and actually maybe closer to 10 30 or 11 before I ate anything else after that um, and then I ate more throughout the day definitely more calories than I was consuming the rest of the time or the rest of the week and <laughs> got tonight I was like ready to go to bed and I couldn't fall asleep. Sydney, my middle sibling, came down and made popcorn and it smelled so good. I was like, resist, resist, resist. Like, you got this. Just make it through the morning. But then I was in bed just like laying there for 40 minutes. I could not sleep. And all I could think about was the popcorn. So 
I did make a little bowl of popcorn. It was smaller than I usually would. I still broke fast. I feel kind of bad. But I still had a 500 calorie deficit for the day. Um, so it worked out in the end. Um, now, that's all my notes from the week. Uh, overall, I think it went great. And am I going to continue? Yes. <laughs> I am going to continue, but not as strictly. I decided I think I'm going to do a 10 hour eating window. So I'll do like 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Just so that on these working days, I can eat in the morning, um, something light. I do wanna try to wait until closer to 10 to eat more of like the substantial food. But like this morning I had some fruit and then I waited until closer to 12 to eat like more substantial food and I think that's okay because again I want this to be a maintainable long-term thing so I don't want it to be super super harsh um, it's also my birthday tomorrow and my family's coming over but it'll be like after work so I don't feel like I can really stick to that especially as I work in the morning so I'm gonna want to eat earlier um, so tomorrow I'm gonna kind of let that slide I'm gonna try not to eat too late um, you know try not to snack way beyond what I need to uh, and then resume Thursday but yeah I feel like this totally helped break that munchiness in the evenings there's still a little bit of it especially if I went and exercised or something you know naturally your body is gonna want food um, but I do recommend especially if you're having a hard time limiting your calories just limiting the window you can only eat so many calories in a certain amount of time so works just for that reason too um yeah i'm really looking forward to filming updates for me for my fitness journey because i feel like maybe i'll actually see results at the end of the month i don't know i'm hopeful much more hopeful than I have been and if you've tried intermittent fasting let me know how and for you uh what's your window for eating how strict are you whatever again I just want to build communication and some community with people who are experiencing the same things focusing on the same things as far as health and fitness so definitely comment if you have anything to add um, thank you so much for watching. I hope something in this was, hel was helpful or at least reassuring that it does get easier. It does get better. And I will see you in the next video. I, maybe I'll try some other videos like this where I like try something for a week and let you know how it went. Cause honestly, I'm kind of bored right now and it's easy to focus on those things. So thanks so much for watching. Like the page if you want to see more. I don't know what I'm doing with my arms. It's figuring this out. All right. Have a great week. I will talk to you in my next video or in the comments if you leave a comment.